Then we have the geometry, as we saw, like we have curves. We can we created like from this under curve panel or, or the curve tab. We can create circle similar to the one that we have here. We can create an ellipse, an arc, rectangle, even like rectangle with main parameters. So for here as a plane, it also has a default uh, settings, which is the zero zero point. So my my rectangle now is this one. Yeah, but, but it, it can it also has this grid, but yeah, you should uh, yeah. get rid of it. And it it's asking like what's the x size? Uh, it's asking like a domain. So now the default value is from minus one to one, which is here on the x side uh, on the x axis. If this okay. is the zero, it's so that zero minus so. one. Yeah, double click out, and if I choose big numbers, if I say like fifteen, it will directly create an, a number slider, and I will plug fifteen here and twenty five here. If you just call a normal number slider, it will just come very small like a number slider so, uh, mm -hmm. between zero and one. This is the default here. Uh, if you hit a number between 1 and 10, so if I double click, I say 3, I say enter. So the limit of this slider will be between 0 and 10. It just uh, assumes some limits. If I say uh, between 10 and 100, so it's going to be, let's say, 50, it will create a limit of 100. It so just zero. doubles. Uh -huh. that is something. Okay. For example, if you called a number slider, which is like this, the basic one, and you want to expand or extend the limits as you want, so you just double click on, on, the, on the name here, and you control everything of this slider from here. So now wow. it's saying, what's the numeric uh, domain? You can say minimum of minus 15. Enter to a max of, I don't know, 40. Enter. So it's telling you that the range is 55 between minus 15 mm -hmm. and 40. Is it a real number? So do you want to like all of these fractions to appear or you want it as an integer number? This integer means only uh, like the yeah, so right number. Whole number or the, the, the whole big number. number. Yeah, exactly, without uh, fractions. You can also like choose. Well, I want only the even numbers or the odd numbers. So if I can say yeah, okay. even number, I can only move two, two. So there is no threes. And it's between 40 and minus 16. Or, yeah, usually this, um, the integer, or what is it called, the full number. Say OK. Mm -hmm. And you can change as you want between minus 16 to 40. I'll plug this to radius, the radius of the previous circle I had. And, and mm -hmm. since we already like kind of created two objects now, like a circle and a rectangle, if you hover over here on you know, the circle on the left, uh, on the right side, okay, on the output, it tells you some information about what it did. So. It's saying that there is one locally defined value that is a circle with radius of 15 millimeters. So you can see that. A lot of the mm -hmm. times uh, when we like do some like uh, processes, we need to check these uh, outputs. So even you just hover over it to read it or uh, drag some panel and link it to see what's going on. So, but a lot of times we use panels that because, um, yeah, a lot of times you have like multiple objects and I don't know, sometimes like hundreds or thousands of objects yeah. and you, you need to check them with the panel. Yeah. The other thing that we noticed that these objects now that we created do not exist. 
So if you try to select them there in Rhino, it will not know that they are there. Because actually they are not a Rhino object. They are not a physical thing with geometry in Rhino. It's only grasshopper object, which is, I can say, imaginary object. Just like, it's not is, imaginary. Of is course, it like just, it's, just numbers? Uh, somehow, yeah. It, it is <clears throat> geometry, actually. It's, it is geometry, but uh, it's not been uh, baked yet. Why? Uh, because you, ha you can, in, in Grasshopper, you can create like hundreds or thousands of objects with, with the same command. So it's, instead of each time create them in Rhino and each time I change the number slider, it will create a new circle. Then what they do is they leave the object created only as a grasshopper object. And when I'm done with it, when I say, yeah, I don't want 15, of radius, I want, for example, 30, mm -hmm. then I can bake it to be a, a Rhino object. So now I double click and I hit bake. Uh, now it's asking where to bake on the default layer, anything, say okay. Now, if I go to Rhino, I will see it's uh, baked. Unbake is just delete because well, once it's baked, uh, it's not connected to Grasshopper anymore. Everything you're doing on Grasshopper is like the recipe that you, you put some, I don't know, eggs, flour, and sugar. Mm -hmm. And then when you want, like when you are done with this thing, you can just bake it and it becomes a cake there. So, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Nice. That is. Interesting. Yeah, that's a good analogy. Yeah. That's... Yeah, this is also another thing that. Um, should know about Grasshopper and uh, Rhino. So, uh, let's think also like in Grasshopper, like before we step to each. Uh, in the next sessions, I will like each one of these tabs, I will walk you through them and show like the main commands. There are like tens or even hundreds of uh, commands and uh, uh, yeah, or, or there's components that we can use, also like similar to the ones that we had in. Rhino and so, but I will show only the basic things in each uh, tab uh, from the next. But for for now, since we're all only the introduction or foundation, 